to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial. Every time I ask you guys what you guys want to see, I get a lot of requests for brow tutorials. I've been putting it off just because my brows were not where I wanted it to be. My brows were really different every single day. I was struggling myself to get perfect brows. And I didn't want to show you guys a routine that I wasn't familiar with and that I didn't get perfect every single time. But I finally got myself together and I've been doing my brows like this for the past month and I really, really like it every single time. It comes out the same. The new trend is like thick brows, but thick brows just didn't fit my face or I didn't feel like it fit my face. So I definitely trimmed my brow down like it was like this thick and now it's like... It's like, it's like here, but I think that it fits my face better and it's easier for me to do my brows like this. If you have thick brows, you go girl. It just doesn't work for me. I love thick brows and I when I see girls have thick brows, I'm so jealous. My brother has thick brows and so does my mom, but I was just, I was just not blessed with thick brows. But that's okay. I'm representing for all those girls out there that have little baby brows. With makeup, we can have fabulous brows too. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my spoolie and brush out my hairs. I'm going to brush them in the direction that they grow. I'm just going to take some tweezers and pluck out any hair that needs to be plucked. I do this every time before I do my brows just so my eyebrows can look more clean and sharp. The last thing I'm going to do before I do my brows is trim them so any hair that is a little too long I'm going to cut so they're even. I'm going to run my spoolie through it one more time. Now that I'm done prepping I'm going to take a small angled brush and my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade to start on my brows. I'm going to start lining the bottom of my brows. Instead of starting at the front, I'm going to start in the middle and drag it to the end. Because I don't really have an arch, I'm going to make my own arch. So instead of stopping where my brows stop, I'm going to drag it a little bit further down. Without adding more product to my brush, I'm going to start on the top of my eyebrows. I'm going to start in the middle again and drag it all the way so it meets the bottom eyebrow. Now I'm going to start filling in the outer parts of my brows and I'm not adding any more product. Again, I'm still not adding any more product to my brush. I'm just taking what I have left of it and I'm just going to start lining the bottom of my inner eyebrows. So instead of making horizontal strokes like I've been doing, I'm going to be brushing up vertically instead. This is going to create a nice gradient for the inner parts of my eyebrows. I'm finally going to go in with just a pinch more of product on my brush to sharpen up the inner edge of my eyebrow. This is just going to add some definition and sharpen everything up. Then I'm going to stroke upwards again for the inner parts of my brows just to even it out, darken it up just a tad bit. Now I'm just going to turn my brush the other way and start putting a couple of hair-like strokes at the front of my brows. This is just going to give the illusion that I have real brow hairs there. And with the help of my spoolie and my fingers, I'm going to just brush out the inner corner of my eyebrows to make it less harsh and more faded. Now with my concealer and a flat rounded brush, I'm going to clean up underneath my brows. I'm going to start underneath my arch and then bring it forward. This is going to really clean up your brows and give you a nice clean brow. This is also going to help if you've made any mistakes, it's just going to clean it right up. With my fingers, I'm just going to blend out the concealer. To set my brows, I'm going to use some tinted eyebrow gel. This is going to help my brows stay in place all day. This also helps the inner parts of my eyebrows where my hairs are more sparse. It's going to temporarily tint them and make it look darker. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I do my brows. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. first brush I have is from Morphe. It's the M501 brush and I love this brush for applying my highlight. It fits perfectly on your cheekbones and applies so nicely.